just kind of had an, an interest in the uh, kind of the combination of art and science behind it, I think. It's that right blend of science and chemistry, and there's a little bit of art. We saw a chance to create something, a chance to be creative and introduce something new. I'm trying to make something that's unique and, and different. Three guys trying to get this thing off the ground and putting a lot of our own effort and thinking into this. So, I mean, you go into a liquor store and 95% of the stuff on the shelf comes from three distilleries. And there's a lot of room for like the local market to move in. The Beehive name came about because, you know, Utah is the Beehive State. And we wanted to tie this to Utah. We wanted visitors that come to the state to see this is a gin from Utah. You know, we're all kind of creative people, and it started as a friend plan, but then it matured into more of a business plan. Oh, had an idea at one point that was like, we should make booze. We kind of thought gin was something that we could be creative, we could put our own stamp on it, and still have it be a product that you can, you can make and sell quickly, that you don't have to age. As, as we've gone through the process, I think we've all gotten really excited about about gin. It's a, it's a really interesting spirit. It's really complex. Part of it is being able to nail the flavor profile over and over. You know, it kind of got to the point where it's like an artist with a painting. You can always keep adding paint to it, but it doesn't necessarily make it better. It just makes it different. You got to pick it and say, this is what we're doing. We figured out we could take something that was very strong and kind of sharp, and it would mellow over time to a very smooth tasting gin. The flavor profile, I think when people try it, they'll just be blown away. It's just, it's just really interesting. I'm the guy that's like, if we're gonna do something, we're gonna do it, and we're gonna do it now. So I think I really, I pushed a lot and probably annoyed both of them a lot, but we're here, <laughs> so it kind of worked. <laughs> We've been working on this for just about a year now, so I think having a product in bottle of, at a year is pretty pretty good pace. It's go time. I think it's it's an incredible opportunity, and hopefully we bring something to the state that uh, is, hasn't really been here. You know, there's brands here that have done very well, but still, it's an oddity. You know, and if you mention it to somebody when you're on a chairlift up in uh, the ski area, you know, it's it's kind of like. What? What are you talking about? We are actually putting the labels on the bottles. We are making the spirit, crushing the, the botanicals. So it's definitely very, very hands-on. It's great because it's something that we're doing all together as friends and it can just evolve. We've known each other for a long time. We've worked together for a long time. And um, I think that's really been an advantage for us. You know, if you can't work with friends, who can you work with? So the future of Beehive, step one is sell something. <laughs> We're close. And I, and I really think that we'll, we'll continue to expand the gin. I mean, we're planning on a barrel gin, which would be an aged gin. And then as far as that goes, I mean, it's, I don't think any of us have like a master plan. You know, we're not the roadmap people necessarily. That where, where are you gonna be in five years? It's like, I don't know, hopefully selling some gin. Thank you.